What would you do if I told you that what you can't see is actually more real than what appears? That what's not tangible is actually more real than what you can feel? And what you can't hear audibly ought to be the one that you listen to because he's giving you life while the world is out here living in cure. So while the world's questions summarize and condense in three words comes down to this. What's the deal? First question, who is God? What is he? And is he a mere figment of our imaginations? Or is he the giver of life, the proof of our existence, the creator of all creations? The book says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then he formed man out of the dust of the ground, breathing into his nostrils, symbolically giving birth. Now I don't know about you, but my life is priceless. You can't put a number on its worth. So I thank God every day till I'm six feet deep in a coffin and I'm covered by dirt. Look, my existence is not my own. We was uniquely manufactured and bought with a price. And that caused torture, bloodshed, but I thank you because it gave me life. So our room was 12 when it up and lay it all down. That's the plan I advise. I'm literally dead to myself, but I live through him. Call me a living sacrifice. Define the laws of physics, but metaphorically speaking, in order to live, you must first die. While accepting him into your heart, making him lord over your life, because math proves every time he is greater than I. Next question, the hows, the whys, and the whens. Short answer, simple. You're wasting time right now trying to figure it out. It's not that wise, nor time well spent. The solution is already taken care of. If you're not saved, get saved. If you're living in sin, give it to him. Go live out what's not yours. It's like going in a mansion but off in the back alley somewhere complaining while you're sleeping in an empty trash bin. So what are you doing now that I told you that what you can't see is more real than what appears? That what's not tangible is actually more real than what you can feel. And what you can't hear audibly ought to be the one that you listen to because it's giving you life while the world is out here living a cure. And all the world's questions summarize and condense into three words still come down to this. What's the deal? Send me